Hey everybody, how is it going? How was your weekend? I am 8Shots here, back again with another video, and I feel sorry for anyone watching this that woke up today $50 poor. Anyways, let's jump straight into the news and no more bullshit. We got some three banger headliners that came out in the Call of Duty news over the past weekend. We're getting, well actually we just got two new info today. We're getting our season four world premiere this week we got a leaked video of the euro mountains large fire team map that we have yet to see and some large news from activision going further in the mobile scene if you guys enjoy anything about this video today please like and subscribe and yeah let's jump straight into today's news Starting everything off real quick, this weekend we're getting another double XP weekend. It's double XP with double battle pass XP. It's running from the 11th to the 14th. So if you still need to get up to level 200, get a few more levels, this would be a perfect grind weekend because, well, where I'm at, it's super hot out. I have heat warnings outside for the last two to three days. I'm sweating inside actually because if I have my fan going while I'm recording, it'll just keep humming in the background and it's very annoying to delete the noise and editing so i'm over in here sweating it'd be a perfect time to sit down turn the fan on and grind some call of duty and get through the battle passes if you haven't yet next the summer game fest was officially announced today with its with its starting on thursday and the world premiere of cold war and Warzone season four is going to be actually live on thursday the times are 11 a.m pt 2 p.m eastern time which is my time and 6 p.m gmt so to watch this go over to summergamefest.com and they'll be streaming it live over there on their website and i'm pretty sure it may be on twitch too i'm going to try and stream this myself when it goes live i'm going to see if i could do like a live reaction on twitch so i will keep you updated on my youtube if i decide to do that i think this is very cool because it's all yet to be confirmed that we're getting a day as a summer event that will be the next summer in cold war and Warzone. Since our 80s hero action event is now over, it our next event will be the Days of Summer. And this event is actually called the Summer Game Fest. So, a little kind of obvious. Maybe in the trailer in the world premiere, we'll see a couple outfits. Maybe a couple like summer maps or summer blueprints. Maybe they'll show. Maybe not yet. I might be over speculating and getting ahead of myself. But I feel like that would just make a lot more sense given it's called the Summer Game Fest. And... It's pretty much been confirmed we're going to be getting another Days of Summer event in Call of Duty. So that's really exciting. Keep tuned on my Twitter. I'll let you guys know if I'll be streaming it live when that happens. It'll be 2 p.m. my time. Next, we got a very large video leak from a Twitter account called The Cheeseburger Boys. They released a video on Vimeo of something that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. And I know a lot of other people have been to. They got leaked gameplay of very very early alpha stages you can tell it's very early because there's still glitches bugs uh like i don't know what the technical term is but like black holes like when they pop up and it's just like a little black hole just kind of there and then it goes away sort of like little glitches like that so you can tell it's very very early in production stages but he was able to go through the entire map with all the new points of interest and i have to say the map is fucking huge like it's massive i don't want to say it's war zone big i tone it down like a small percentage but this is a very very large map combining all of our fire team maps that we have seen so far including brand new points of interest that we haven't got yet in separate fire team maps the only thing that concerns me about this a little bit is from what i can see here we have about three to four new points of interest that he shows on the map i won't be showing anything here in this video but i will leave a link down in the description if it still works it may not work by the time i've uploaded this video but if it does i highly recommend you guys watch it and see all the new points of interest that he explores they look pretty good for the most part like i said it's still being an early in alpha but we do get to see the new points of interest like i said including zoo and the new ice rink that is around slopes i believe the problem is is there's new points of interest on the map including battery zoo there's one 
in the bottom right of the map, if you guys watch the video, it's all white and there's a part that says slopes, which I assume is like alpine, just another name for it. But slopes, ski slopes. And there's another one in the very right, it's called the station or train station or it's it's something station, but I can't make it out clearly because he has the video watermarked, obviously. And I can't make it out for certain what it is. If you guys can and you're able to make it out, let me know down in the comments because I haven't been able to notice it myself. Also, there's a new one titled Mines. We have Glova, Ruka, and obviously Sanatorium included with it. Because my only concern is that we only get, like I was saying, we only get about one fire team map of uh, a season so with these new ones here there's about three battery zoo and mines like those are three new maps so why are we waiting three more seasons to see this big map this is something that i've been waiting for for so long this is what i was like assuming was gonna come in the last update we had with the fire team elimination if you guys haven't seen my video go check out my review on that but I wasn't really feeling it and watching this gameplay got me super 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 excited it looks like a blackout 2.0 it it's the Treyarch engine with a large battle royale map multiple points on it that's really what I was looking forward to and I was hoping we were gonna get two weeks ago when the update came out but unfortunately that obviously wasn't the case but with all that being said guys it still looks very nice except for all the tiny glitches but i'm sure when they clean it up this map is going to be super awesome and fun to play and for anyone that experienced blackout in call of duty black ops 4 i'm sure this will bring back a lot of good memories and nostalgic vibes we have this is obviously solely the gameplay we have zero confirmation i don't know anything at all when this is going to be coming out i hope it's soon i hope it's sometime within the next like two months i'm assuming i really hope it's not the tail end of cold war because that would just really suck and call of duty games tend to die down around that time but maybe the game mode will bring people back on to experience who knows and last but not least activision has released their looking for new people and jobs for a career that they're going to be uh releasing a new triple a call of duty mobile game now this is separate from the call of duty mobile we've already seen and they're big up a job list listing basically saying they're looking for producers in mobile that says the team's first project is a triple a call of duty franchise game now a lot of people went straight in my mind also went to call of duty warzone mobile because like how fortnite and pubg has done it a lot of companies are moving to mobile and they have also removed Call of Duty Online, which was only available in China, but was run in the United States. They have removed that completely off. It's no longer operational and online because you're trying to move everybody to Call of Duty Mobile, which brings in like what? I think it has 350 million downloads on um, across app stores and they make millions a day millions million like billions they make billions within a month it's fucking ludicrous money that they make off mobile games and i don't find this a coincidence at all if you guys don't know a report was put out a couple weeks ago that battlefield was actually looking to get into the mobile market and if you guys haven't heard yet um i believe valorant is actually coming out with a mobile version pretty soon as well and correct me if I'm wrong, I'd correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know if Apex is already on mobile or I heard something about them coming to mobile. But the general point is everything is moving to mobile. Mobile games make billions. Like I'm not gonna say mobile games will make millions, billions, billions. Like the companies that run these mobile games are fucking rolling stinky rich. So it doesn't make it's not that much of a surprise to me that we're getting a new call of duty mobile game like it's honestly not because so much money gets generated out of mobile games because it's so easy to buy shit most games are free mobile we don't know what this is going to be yet is it going to be like a sequel to a past call of duty game we've seen is it going to be something completely different like how we've seen with uh call of duty they released a wii version or something on the nintendo or ps vita a while like a couple years back that was its own single kind of run-of-the-mill Call of Duty game that not many people played. 
we don't know. We don't know anything yet. But if I were to take my best guess at it, if I were to put 50 bucks on it, and put my 50 bucks to good use, let alone that, it'd probably be Warzone coming to mobile, and they're going to try and integrate it some way, somehow. I believe Fortnite has integrated mobile with consoles and PC. Correct me if I'm wrong. I may be totally wrong. I do not play Fortnite. But that would only make all the complete sense in my mind. I really, really wish that Call of Duty Mobile was in some ways tied to console Call of Duty and PC. Because have you guys seen some of the fucking blueprints again in that fucking game? Like, I'm sorry. I know you're dropping the money for it. But if they were to bring it in the console, maybe lower the price a tiny bit. Like, man, the fucking blueprints they get are crazy. And the fucking outfits, man, I'm telling you. I haven't played mobile in a while, but with everything they're getting, it's getting more tempting, tempting by the day. But my overall point is, I'm not surprised. They're looking for producers right at the moment. And yeah, a lot, everything's moving to mobile. A lot is moving to mobile. And that's a little depressing, to be honest. A little depressing. Anyway, guys, that is everything for me today. I know this video was a bit longer because I kind of ranted on. And I was just really feeling what we were talking about today. Don't forget, we're also getting the Battlefield 6 reveal this week. I may or may not be streaming that reveal too on my Twitch, like a live reaction. But if I do, I'll let you guys post it on my Twitter, like I always do. That's everything for me, guys. If you would like this video today, please, 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 please like and subscribe. And I'll be back with another video very, very soon. Peace, guys.